Now to major developments late today in the Kobe Bryant helicopter crash investigation. The preliminary report from the NTSB just in tonight. And what we've now learned. Here's Adrian Bankert. Tonight, the new report on the crash that killed Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, and seven others, including their pilot, who in their final moments told air traffic control they were climbing to 4,000 feet. But in reality, they were falling, according to the NTSB, evidence that the veteran pilot may have been disoriented in the fog. This and other details, part of more than 1,000 pages of communications now made public, including text messages sent from the pilot Ara Zabayan, one of Bryant's preferred pilots. The report outlines that those who flew for the NBA champion had to be thoroughly vetted and on an approved list of pilots, and that the aircraft was required to be a dual-engine helicopter. Leading up to the flight, employees with OC Helicopter and Kobe's driver talked about weather and logistics. The night before, the crew asks, does weather look okay tomorrow? The pilot says, just checked, not the best day tomorrow, but it is not as bad as today. Crews asking again the morning of the crash, how is weather looking for a 9 a.m. departure? The pilot saying, should be okay. With crew chiming in, I agree. The helicopter wheels up six minutes past the hour. Less than 30 minutes later, Kobe Bryant's driver says just started raining lightly here. 15 minutes later at 9.48 a.m., the crew asks, did they land? Their driver responding, not yet. And just minutes before that text exchange, the helicopter had already crashed. Investigators have yet to determine an official cause. David. All right, Adrian Vanker for the late news tonight. Adrian, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.